Hello everyone. Today I'll explain to you how is an image in spatial domain represented in frequency domain. An image is initially represented in the spatial domain where it is composed of discrete pixels with specific intensity values. And this diagram here gives the original representation of the image as well as the intensity values of the image in spatial domain. Here we see that the image is represented as a grid of discrete pixels where each pixel has a specific intensity value corresponding to its location. In the context of images, spatial frequency refers to the rate of change of pixel intensity values across space. It characterizes how rapidly the pixel values change from one region of the image into another. A higher spatial frequency indicates more rapid changes in the intensity while a lower spatial frequency represent slower change in the intensity. In simpler terms, spatial frequency relates to the level of detail or the size of structures present in an image. High frequency components correspond to fine details like edges and textures and low frequency components represent smooth variation in the image such as overall brightness or large scale structures. Now we have understood the concept of uh, spatial frequency. Here is a representation of the original image and the same in the spatial frequency. We see that the rate of change of pixel intensity is clearly visible as the edges of the image. To make it simpler, it is at the edges of the rectangle or the given image is where there is a change in pixel intensity, a rapid change in pixel intensity. By analyzing spatial frequency content of an image using techniques like Fourier analysis, one can gain insight into the image's structural information, identify important features, or perform image processing operation that enhance or filter specific frequency components. Now let's see the Fourier transform of an image. Fourier transform of an image represents the spatial frequency content of the image rather than the individual pixel differences. The Fourier transform decomposes the image into a set of sinusoidal functions each of them representing a different spatial frequency. In the frequency domain, the Fourier transform provides information about the amplitude and phase of each spatial frequency component present in the image. And to calculate Fourier transform of an image, the 2D Fourier transform algorithm is applied to the image matrix. This involves performing uh, a series of complex mathematical calculation to determine the frequency components. So in summary, we can say that the Fourier transform of an image does not directly represent the pixel difference between the neighboring pixels. Instead, it represents the spatial frequency content of the image and it provides information about the amplitude and phase of different frequency components present in the image. Now, we should look into the magnitude spectrum to more understand how an image is represented in frequency domain. The magnitude spectrum provides information about amplitude of different spatial frequency in the image and it represents the magnitude or strength of each frequency component. It is the distribution of spatial frequencies present in the image which is obtained by calculating the magnitude of Fourier transform of the image. And in this case, higher magnitude indicate the presence of stronger frequency component such as edges or high frequency details and lower magnitude indicate smoother regions or low frequency components. And by visualizing magnitude spectrum, you can gain insight into the frequency composition and distribution of the image. And bright regions in the magnitude spectrum correspond to higher amplitude or stronger frequency component while dark region correspond to lower amplitude or weaker fre frequency component. This is clearly visible in the image in the magnitude spectrum image of the original image. And in the next video, I'll explain to you how the Fourier transform decomposes an image into its frequency component. And that's all for this session. Thank you so much.